Hello everyone, I just unboxed my uh, T-Mobile no contract iPhone from directly from Apple.com So now I am gonna activate this GSM so-called supposed to be GSM iPhone 6 with my uh, Verizon SIM card So here is the T-Mobile SIM card that comes with uh, the phone and then here is a uh, Verizon SIM card from my another phone. So let's uh, try to let's see what happens if I pop in this SIM card. Just remember, I have never turned on the phone before uh, with their original T-Mobile SIM card. Uh, what I saw on the internet that if you activate your phone with the original T-Mobile card your uh, CDMA module will be locked. I don't know whether that is true. So just on the safe side I put in the Verizon card. So put it up. Ta -da, ta -da. Yeah, that just blah. Okay. So English, United States. See? LTE. Let me punch in the password for my Wi-Fi and uh, Okay, so now, see, guys, it's activated. See what it is? Verizon. Okay, so disable. Okay. Okay, so this is it. So I don't need to uh, do this again. And uh, let me... Um, Don't use IV set up touch ID later. Don't uh, don't send standard. Next, get started. All right, here we go. So this is actually activated. All right, so let me see if I can call my phone. Leave your message. Hmm. So yeah, I don't have a signal here, but uh, yeah, it actually goes to my uh, voicemail. So it does activate it with my uh, CDMA, CDMA uh, Verizon. So let's uh, let let me turn off the Wi-Fi to see well the FTE works. So okay, so now. The Wi-Fi is off, and then you see Verizon LTE on the top, and uh, let's go online. 
Let's see. Google. Wow. This goes on. Test. Yep. Let's go to check this a speed test. Yeah, is there a VAP version? I don't know. But anyway, so um so yeah, LTE works as well. So I guess so any phone if you purchased directly from Apple uh, with no contract, that's gonna be uh work both for um a CDMA or GSMA, it really doesn't matter which carrier you're buying from. So okay, so uh, this is it for my demo and thank you for watching. Bye bye.